conversation with Ekta Batra. The Hindustan Zinc Board has authorized its committee of directors to evaluate corporate restructuring. The company plans to create separate legal entities for undertaking its zinc, lead, silver and recycling businesses. Nisha is standing by now to take us through the details. Uh, Nisha, any uh, update from the management on what it intends to do from here on? That's right, uh, Shireen. It's a massive restructuring exercise that has been announced by Hindustan Zinc. And also on that particular matter, Arun Mishra, who's the CEO of Hindustan Zinc, has uh, clarified on a lot of points uh, on the questions we posed to him. So he's exclusively given us uh, a lot of understanding on this particular matter and how the restructuring will go through. First of all, an independent committee, along with the management, will recommend the scheme to the board of directors as well as the government of India for their approval. So the question of government of India's take and whether or not they are on board, that has been clarified very emphatically through this particular conversation. So government of India will be asked for their approval to this. They have also stated to us that the proposed scheme of arrangement and the restructuring will help government of India in easing its divestment aspect when it is concerning Hindustan Zinc. Now, as part of the overall restructuring, the, the company wants to put out a few important points that it is in favor of all the stakeholders because of the un uh, unlocking of the value proposition in each of the businesses. For example, silver, which is a byproduct, which is financially reported separately by the company, if uh, unlocked in uh, as a separate entity, its P multiples and valuations would be much higher than what it has has uh, uh, combined with zinc at the moment because globally the silver companies are getting higher valuation. So in a similar fashion, all the value unlocking by separate businesses is something which is going to be a higher value proposition for the group as well as the stakeholders. So in this exclusive conversation, the biggest point that is coming out is the comfort given by the company on government of India's role as well as approval. And they have also emphatically stated that it could really bring much much better value proposition with its stake in Hindustan Zinc as well. All right, Nisha, appreciate you joining us. That is the latest as far as Hindustan Zinc's proposed restructuring is concerned. Now,